Hi, my name is Allison. Welcome to Pikesville Animal Hospital's client education videos. Today we're going to be doing an insulin demo. So we have Bandit here. We're going to be doing a uh, blood glucose level for her. So first we have uh, all of our utensils out. Um, we have our lancet, we have our alpha track uh, glucometer, and we have our test strips here. So you want to make sure that our test strip is set to the right number, because if it's not set to the right reading number there, it's not going to be an accurate reading. So you want to make sure it's either on dog or cat, depending which pet you have. Um, to do that, you just slip that in there. It'll turn on, and it'll tell you at which reading it's at. So it's 36, that's for dogs, so we're good. I'm going to pull that out because we're not quite ready to get blood on that strip yet. So our lancet, we have a little individual um, lancet here. Uh, it has a little needle, basically, to poke in there. Um, what you do is make sure it's set at the right setting. So there's a depth level here. Um, which you can kind of move around. I'm going to use two for her um, and then to load the lancet you pull back and hear that snap. To release the lancet press that button. So I'm going to load it. We're going to choose a place on her ear to get to. Let's see. I'm going to massage the area, kind of desensitize it and also get some blood flowing in that ear. Uh, and we'll choose right about here. I like to hold my finger underneath to get it, give it some stability and press the button. I also like to hold it in place for a little bit because it creates a little bit of a suction there. So there we are. We've got a little bit of blood flow in here. I'm going to press in our test strip, make sure we got plenty of blood for it. Usually it doesn't take a lot, but you want to have a nice, nice droplet right there. And once the screen has the little blood drops on it, you know it's ready to go. Put this next to the blood, it beeps. And then it gives us our reading. So we got 342, we report that to the doctor. And I just like to massage the area we got to just so that it closes up. So that's good. And that's how you get the blood. Okay, and now we're going to do our insulin injection. Um, so I wanted to note that there are two different types of needles, uh, or syringes rather, that you're going to be experiencing. One's a U40, uh, which is basically a meant only for a U40 insulin, such as Vetsilin. Um, and then we have the U100 syringes uh, that are used with U100 insulin. So your Novolin uh, N or something like that. Um, so what we're going to do here is I have, this is an insulin, but it's representative of our insulin. She uses U100, so we have this here. This is basically our vial of insulin, um, which is right now sterile water. We take the little cap off the bottom. We have here. So this is our needle here. It's very fine. You plop it in to the bottle there. You pull it up to your desired uh, units. So let's say she's getting five units. So we'll pull it up to the five. Um, I'm just gonna put this cap on here so you can see where I'm going with it. Um, basically, we're gonna use this area back here because this has a lot of extra fur. Um, what we wanna do is tent the fur. Um, so you pull up on it, see how she's got all this extra skin there. Um, you're gonna go pretty much parallel to go into that skin area parallel in there so then we know that it's going into the subcutaneous region um, so you pull up in press in and then your insulin goes in the subcutaneous area um, when you have these little needles you want to make sure um, you only poke once if you have to um, so we go in inject pull out and you're done pretty simple <laughs> 